Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Um, if this is you guys' first time tuning in, I am a coach for narcissistic abuse and I'm also a love tarot reader. All right, a psychic medium. All right, so I actually already pulled the cards for today's spread. I was trying to record it, but um, my cards were kind of acting funny or it was a little shaky. But um, so I have the cards here, but I did want to let you guys know if you wanted to be entered in to um, get my free everyday tarot deck. I'm giving away my tarot deck. And if you want to enter the competition, um, I will be choosing the lucky winner at the end of the month. All right. This is the deck right here that I will be giving you guys um, and I will be picking the winner. If you want to enter, the only thing you need to do is comment on one of my tarot videos and um, follow me on Instagram at LiveNarkFree. Okay, you guys? So that's that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Like I said, I already pulled the cards out. So we're going to be doing the past energy, recent past, present, um, future energy, the challenge, and the potential outcome. So the cards are looking pretty good for the most part. So I'll just go ahead and um, read it to you guys here. And if you want an extended on this video, um, please let me know. Email me livenarkfree9 at gmail.com and we will um, work that out. So I see here the recent past. Um, we have the Hierophant. So this represents tourists. This represents a marriage, institutions, um, you know, kind of going about the way, the traditional way, you know, sticking within, you know, the rules, following laws following the oops, you know, being committed, taking vows. So maybe the recent past, some of you guys could have been married to someone, married to a Taurus, or you are a Taurus, you are probably married to someone. Okay, so I have the present energy is the Empress. So I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely, you know, working on yourselves, you know, um, being creative, um, kind of doing uh, having a rebirth, starting new, growing yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself, maybe taking care of others. Some of you guys could be pregnant or you're dealing with someone that's pregnant or a person that you're dealing with is dealing with someone, somebody that's pregnant. This is Taurus Libra energy here. This is a good card. This shows like growth, expansion, new ideas, new dreams, new goals, new aspirations. So this is really good energy, you guys. Okay, so um, for the... Uh, future energy here. I have the page of one, so this is good news coming in. Could be a little immature, but um, yeah, this is like good news. Maybe somebody traveling, maybe you're traveling, or somebody could be wanting to travel to you. You could be at a distance from somebody. Um, but yeah, definitely good news. It could be a child involved or something like that. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy here. So the challenge, I feel like it was um, maybe somebody having a new love or maybe starting something new or maybe taking a relationship or a partnership or a friendship to the next level here. The Ace of Cups, this is real love, true love. This is beautiful energy, success, happiness, fulfillment. Somebody was like having a challenge of like experiencing this or getting this, I feel like, the Ace of Cups. And then the um, the potential outcome is we have the four of wands. And this is like a relationship, a marriage, or somebody is going to be getting married. All right. A household, a family situation, a home, stability. All right. So some of you guys could definitely be getting stability. All right. So let's go ahead and see why we have the Hierophant here. Okay. So this card wanted to come out. So yeah, I feel like in the recent past, um, there was definitely some um, manipulation going on within a marriage, some um, mind games, so somebody wanted to win at all costs, I feel like. This was the uh, most recent past. This is the Five of Swords, so a lot of uh, mental conflicts perhaps could be like outside people. Um, this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. All right. And now uh, let's go ahead and clarify the Empress and see what's going on. So the cards kind of went. Okay, let me go ahead and shuffle the cards here. We have the Empress here. We have the Empress as the present energy. Why do we have this card here? The Empress as the present energy. Why do we have the Empress here for the present energy? Okay, so yeah, I feel like um somebody definitely wanted to see.
see something come into fruition, somebody wanting to invest within a situation or see something grow. I mean, I feel like somebody definitely wants to celebrate within a situation, the three of cups here. It could be a third party, but, um, you know, coming together, uh, seven of pentacles here, wanting to see something grow or somebody could be invested in an empress maybe. But just like new beginnings, um, growth, expansion, you know, self-love, healing, moving forward, I feel like. That's the present energy. That's really good. All right. Um, so why do we have the page of wands here for the future energy? Why do we have the page of wands for the future energy? Let's see here. Oh, and I did forget to mention that um, the overall energy was the eight of wands here. So somebody could definitely be communicating something um, from afar. It could be rushing in. But I feel like they were um, confused about it this, with the seven of cups. There was some confusion going on. Maybe have a lot of op a lot of options or you know things that they're having going on in their life, and I feel like somebody is doing some comp contemplating about communication. They're thinking about it. They might be feeling bored in their present situation, or you know, might be some gossip or something going on. So yeah, I did want to mention that. <laughs> so this card wanted to come out. Yeah, I feel like definitely somebody wants to make an offer. Maybe communicate their emotions. They got some good news. This is the King of Pentacles here, so this could be a businessman, a provider, a father figure here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King of Pentacles. Alright, so somebody could be like expressing something to someone. Let's see, why do we have the Eight of Cups here for the uh, challenge? Why do we have the Ace of Cups here for the challenge? Yeah, because... Um, yeah, I feel, this actually came up in the reverse. So I'm um, the Ace of Wands here because uh, somebody wasn't having, it wasn't being passionate in regards to like a new love, I feel like, or taking a relationship to the next level. So I feel like they were having a hard time, you know, having an, like taking action and starting new with maybe perhaps within a partnership, maybe a marriage or a commitment, I feel like. So that was the challenge, you know, not having a new beginning, not, you know, Taking that action, not, you know, being determined and ready to start anew. I feel like that was the, the issue. All right, so why do we have the four of wands here for the um, potential outcome? Why do we have the four of wands here for the potential outcome? Why do we have the four of wands here for the potential outcome? Okay, let's get one card. Why do we have the four of wands here for the potential outcome? get one card yeah again um we have the four of wands here because somebody is determined to you know have a commitment or determined to have a, a marriage with somebody i feel like somebody wants to take action they want to be take control of a situation i feel like the king of wands i see here what's the overall outcome for this reading What's the overall outcome? The Four of Wands and the King of Wands. What's the overall outcome for this reading? What's the overall outcome for this reading? I saw the Fool card, so I feel like somebody does want to take a risk. But I feel like in the recent past, it was definitely some like competition and some arguments here. Yeah, but again, somebody is feeling like stuck, I feel like. The Two of Swords. Refusing to see a situation. Like not not wanting to see something, maybe, maybe not wanting to um, acknowledge this situation. Perhaps they feel stuck, needing to make a decision. Probably like in their head about it. Let's go ahead and, and yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands. So somebody could be feeling guarded within a marriage. Let's get one more card. Let's see what the potential outcome is. Let's get one more card for the potential outcome. But I do feel like somebody is going to be communicating, though. I feel like there will be some communication. But the, again, the challenge was, you know, taking action and having that new beginning. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, again, communication. So somebody will be communicating the Eight of Wands right here. And yeah, the Page of Cups, somebody will be coming in with maybe with an apology or an offer. 
I feel like it could be small, it could start off small, it could be like a text message or phone call or something. But yeah, somebody is definitely going to be communicating, but they are feeling stuck, you guys. Somebody is like contemplating the decision, but I feel like it will be made. So if you guys want an extended to see um, the person, how they're feeling towards you, um, what action steps they're planning on taking, what they're going to be communicating, what's hidden, what's blocking the connection, um, we will look at that in the extended. And let's just get one message from the Romance Angels and we will wrap up the reading. We will wrap it up. So yeah, it says finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I feel like it's either you or whoever you're dealing with could be having issues with their finances. And that could be like the delay. The two of swords, they could be in their head about that. All right, and let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck. Yes, 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 this is your soulmate. So I feel like the person that you're dealing with is your soulmate or you are someone else's soulmate, I feel like. All right, so that's the reading, you guys. If you want an extended, um, leave a comment and email me livenark49 at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.